steps that this administration has taken that you agree with? And then the second part of that question, that's a short answer, by the way. Okay, good. But there's a second part to it, because it says, please explain what you would do differently to create jobs other than vote for tax breaks for the richest 2% of Americans. Yeah, I think there are a number of keys. Um, I think we've talked a little bit about corporate taxes and, and what we need to do to, to make America competitive in the world marketplace. Um, I think we need to get our house in order, and we are not getting our house in order. Cap and trade is a fundamentally bad idea to get our house in order. We need to produce energy uh, in this country. We need to stop, uh, or we need to we need to strive for energy independence. I don't know if we ever get to to full energy independence, just like we never get to uh, full employment, 100%, uh, but we need to get to a, a level of energy independence uh, that we stop sending uh, billions and billions of dollars to our enemies uh, to, to buy oil and, and uh, uh, energy. Uh, I, I think we need to drill here. I think we need to drill um, uh, in the uh, Anwar. I think we need to uh, look at nuclear energy. There are a lot of energy sources that I think we need to uh, work on to develop a less expensive form of energy um, for, for our manufacturing base. Uh, there are other things in, in the uh, employment area uh, beyond just taxes and, and uh, energy, uh, but one of the most important that I hear, and I, I hear it from uh, small business people all across this uh, state, uh, they are looking for certainty, and, and they are not getting certainty right now. Um, and it's, uh, healthcare is a, a huge concern to small business owners. If they're going to be fined for not giving, uh, and I'm talking small business owners still, uh, people who employ 70, 80, 100 uh, employees, uh, if they're going to be fined uh, because they have not, uh, they do not offer insurance or they're going to be fined or they're really going to have to come up with insurance for their uh, health insurance for their employees, it is a huge uh, burden at a time in our economy where they just can't afford that burden. And so uh, we need to give folks knowledge of what their taxes are going to be down the road, what the energy costs are going to be, uh, what health care costs are going to be, and folks don't feel that sense of certainty uh, at this point, and they're reluctant to expand. Uh, even if they could, uh, they're reluctant to because they just don't know what's coming down the road. A big chunk of our productive economy has been outsourced by transnational corporations seeking higher short-term profits. We're told that we benefit with lower prices. How does this help if we lose our jobs? How do we reverse outsourcing and regain our lost economic vitality? A few points here. One, uh, uh, corporations are not patriotic. Cor corporations are profit-seeking entities, and they are going to seek uh, the profits wherever they can. We need to uh, uh, create a climate in this country uh, that uh, will uh, keep jobs here because corporations find it profitable to keep jobs here. Frankly, you know, I haven't talked about it before, um, our education system is part of the uh, failure of our uh, competitiveness. We've got to get our education system in order. And I'm not talking about a, a federal mandated education system, but an education system uh, where we are producing more uh, folks that can compete in, in relevant uh, jobs uh, in the future. And so I think there are, again, uh, the key in my mind is, is getting our house in order. Now, there's many in the uh, education world that would say that that sounds great and fine. How do we do that with so many cuts? We continue to be cut, cut, cut. I any solution to that? Yeah, part of the solution is to stop sending um, billions of dollars to the United States Department of edu ed ed Education and get that money into local school districts. In 1914, Henry Ford said he would pay his employees enough so they could buy what they made. Now today's big box stores appear to have turned Ford's idea on its head and have a strategy to leave their employees so poor they can only shop in these Chinese outlet stores. Who's right? Ford or the big box stores? You know, I don't, I, I don't know that uh, I'm going to accept the, the premise there. Um, I, I think the, the key is that uh, we have open and, and fair trade. I don't know that uh, Henry Stores, I don't know anything about Henry Ford's company stores, but I do know that there are a lot of employees at Walmart, um, mostly uh, the folks that I have talked to are mostly second income employees. They, they love working for Walmart and other big box stores, um, and while they don't have uh, 
the benefits their, their spouse does, um, and that's an important part of supplementing the family income. So uh, I'm not going to denigrate workers at, at, at big box stores, nor am I going to denigrate the system. I think the problem is that we are uh, importing in a, in a way that is uh, undermining the competitiveness of manufacturers in this country, not, uh, not necessarily the big box stores, or frankly, the American consumer. Uh, the American consumer is going to go where the price is the price and quality uh, meets their needs. And, and so uh, if, if we can do that uh, domestically, they will buy domestic, but uh, right now we have not been able to do that for, for many of the reasons that were mentioned earlier. To support countering these illegal practices that have gutted Americans in American industries. Um, would I support uh, countering illegal practices? Yes, the, the question is how. And it's not with tariffs, in my opinion. It is, uh, there, there are mechanisms in place, uh, and we need to uh, enforce those mechanisms. Well, the federal government taxes individuals and companies to fund its programs. Well, China has a policy of spending only with Chinese companies. Should America adopt similar by domestic policies? No. Do you want to expand on no? <laughs> sure. Sure. I, you know, I think that uh, when we buy domestically, free trade creates wealth around the world, and it certainly created wealth in this country. When we uh, uh, buy domestically, now that doesn't mean that we shouldn't. I, I obviously have, uh, in my personal preferences, to buy bought domestically. When we start talking about a national government policy to buy domestically, since I'm a Senate candidate, maybe I read into that the wrong way. But uh, when the United States government starts to impose uh, uh, domestic preferences, uh, I think we have serious problems. Will you please explain, define your statement that we need to put our house in order? Define how you will accomplish this goal. I, I think we have, for um, uh, decades, put ourselves in a position where we are less and less competitive vis-a-vis -vis the rest of the world. And, and we need to change that. And that's what I'm saying when I say we need to put our house in order uh, before we start looking at anything like tariffs or, or other issues. Um, our house is not in order. And specifically, uh, the second highest corporate tax rate in the world makes us competitively disadvantaged, or competitively disadvantaged compared to uh, other countries. We cannot maintain that tax structure. We, the reason that we have the second highest corporate tax rate in the world is that we are spending too much. We need to reduce federal government spending. We need to move towards a constitutional balanced budget. Amendment. If we get to the, if we get our federal spending under control, we will get our federal tax under control, and we will be able to compete more um, in a world marketplace. It is a situation where uh, one step uh, is 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 related to the other. Uh, reduce spending, reduce taxes, we will be more competitive in the world marketplace. Uh, we have uh, a group of environmentalists who are controlling energy policy in this country. Uh, a coal-fired power plant at the time, the environmentalists are telling us that coal is a uh, primary uh, cause of global warming. Um, if we continue to let bad science dictate policy, we will continue to have bad policy. Topical question, would you support the unemployment bill that is going to pass today? Uh, I would not support that, no. Um, and again, uh, folks, we need to figure out uh, where we're going to pay for things. I have a hundred great ways to spend your money. And those folks that were booing up there a little while ago, um, you can open your wallets right now. I'll be glad to spend your money um, right now. We cannot, uh, we cannot continue to incur the kind of debt that we're incurring uh, and, and be a, uh, a world power. Uh, I, I am all in favor of helping folks who uh, are unemployed. I'm all in favor of helping folks who are, are down on their luck. I am not in favor of continuing to ratchet up debt. We are at $13 trillion 